Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're testing which one is better for traveling. We're gonna give some points, see if the Air or the Mavic Pro, which one is better for traveling. Let's go inside. Our conclusions will be at the end of the video. We're gonna just give some points for the comparison. If you want our personal opinion, you can go to the end or watch till the end, which will be better. Let's go inside again. Well, first of all, let's start with something that is very important. It's the battery fly time. 27 minutes versus 21 of the Mavic Air. This is clearly a winner for the Mavic Pro. I'm sorry, it's so cold. Second, but not less important than the first one, the range of both drones. Mavic Pro Platinum up to maximum 7 kilometers, whereas the Air only 4 kilometers. You know, this is going via Wi-Fi, not like this one. So another winner for the Pro Platinum. And I know now on the third one that you want a point for the Air and this one goes out because this one, the Mavic Air has an internal storage of 8 gigabytes and this is just huge. This is probably one of the best things that this drone has and I expect from now on all the DJI drones to have internal storage for that day that you may have lost or forgotten your SD card. So big point for the Mavic Air on the internal storage. Let's talk about sensors. You know, when you're traveling, most of the time you don't know the place, you don't know the forest. There may be a tree higher than you expected. And you know, sensors, APAS, the Mavic Air gets this point because APAS, as you know, will help you avoiding obstacles. And also it has rear sensors where the Mavic Pro doesn't. So another great point for the Mavic Air. Now let's talk about one thing that we miss on this drone and it's the OQ-Sync. The Mavic Pro and the Pro Platinum and the white one uh, do have OQ-Sync which is great for people that like flying with goggles or getting a more immersive experience and also of course the connection is better than the air. And you know when you're traveling, as I said before, on a place you don't know, you don't want to lose the drone because of the Wi-Fi signal. So OQ-Sync is a winner for the Mavic Pro Platinum. One of the things that we also believe is very, very important and not many people have been talking about is the gimbal protection. You know that I hate for some reasons the Mavic and one of them was this gimbal here that keeps moving and won't stop ever. The gimbal of the Mavic Air is not only more stabilized even when turned off, but it has the protection um, that as you saw on the crash video, it protects the gimbal from a front crash, which will, you know, help sometimes to not crash the gimbal or not to try the gimbal when you crash into a tree. I feel like my mouth is freezing and sorry for not talking very politely. Another very interesting point here is the field of view of both. The Mavic Pro Platinum has a wider field of view, whereas of course the Air has a narrow or more narrow one. Depending on what you like the most, it will give you a different output, so you have just to bear this in mind, and of course this is a draw. The Mavic Pro Platinum is doing 60 megabits per second, and this one is doing 100. This is a huge difference, and people, I don't know, just don't talk about. Maybe it's difficult to see on a YouTube video, you know, it's very compressed and stuff, but if you're doing a professional production, or at least want something more professional, you will see the difference. It's a very, very big difference, so another point for the Mavic Air. Well guys, for this comparison, it's starting to snow. We're in Spain, we're in Barcelona, and it never snows here. So please leave a like and subscribe for this because we're freezing. As it is slowing, uh, we just uh, put the uh, drones back into the bags because you know snow water with the drones we're not quite sure um, of course also talk about the slow-mo with 120 frames per second the air is capable of shooting amazing amazing slow-mo as you can see here we did shoot this for the review and it does give us some excellent footage so another point for the Mavic Air here before I become the Night King from Game of Thrones, I want also to talk about the portability overall, the size, the weight. And here the Mavic Air, of course, with, with its smaller size and less weight, 
wins. Another great point because overall it just fits in smaller bags, it occupies less, it weighs less. So again, another point for the Mavic Air. And just as an extra for the point before, uh, you can also take out the sticks from the uh, controller of the Mavic Air and this gives you even more portability, so just an add-on. Um, finally, uh, we want to talk about the noise and actually the Mavic Pro Platinum with the ESC, which the Air does also have, but it, the Pro has a less noisy props. So this will give about four or five decibels less in noise, which is huge and is a lot. This is a point for the Mavic Pro. Before I end up like a Yeti, we want to talk about the conclusions. And for the conclusions, we wanted to different two types of uh, users. For the Mavic Pro, if you're a traveler which likes to go into uh, foreign countries, you know, more adventure type, you don't know what you're gonna expect, you'll need the battery, you need a more extended battery and also a better range, a wider range, a better connection to the drone. So you'll be probably looking for a Pro. But if you're more of the new vlogger style or, you know, you want to be another uh, traveler like going into the cities and stuff like this, you probably need the air and this will be even better for you. So overall, it will depend again on what you're going to use. I'm going to... Hold on, hold on. I think we, we covered everything that is important here again. We're doing this because your comments on the crash and on the review were asking for this type of comparison. So if you have any further questions or you want us to solve anything, just leave it in the comments. You know that we answer them and we read them. So um, nothing else to say. Always remember to like the video, comment for Chivo and nothing else to say. Keep calm and talk to you.